Hello, and welcome to the Chartered Society of Forensic Scientists presentation from Legacy Systems. We are here today following an invite from the Chartered Society based on our ongoing work with UK police forces. We have been involved in the provision of measurement solutions to collision investigation units for many years. We're now observing that crime scene investigators are also looking at how the technology can assist them in crime scene investigations. As part of our presentation today, we'll discuss how our technologies are being used in forensic science to assist investigators in collecting images and measurable data in a more comprehensive, faster and complete way, but also how this is assisting in providing more visually compelling reports and deliverables. So what we're going to talk about today is hardware, then we'll talk through the workflow, then look at some of the possible deliverables. We will then hand over to Chris Duffner, who is a collision investigator from West Mersey Police, and he will give some insight on how the technology is being deployed and utilized from a practitioner's perspective. My name is Cesar Almeida. My academic background is in geospatial engineering, where a big part of what I do involves training and support the forensic community in getting the best out of their workflows. For those of you who are not familiar with Leica Geosystems, we are the global leader in sensor and software technologies with a history that dates back almost 200 years. Today, we are part of a bigger group called Hexagon. Surveying underpins almost everything that we do. And as a global organization and a market leader in the provision of measurement and positioning systems, we support many market segments, including surveying, utilities, rail, plant, and public safety, and many, many more. More localized in UK, over the past few years, we have developed close working collaborative relationships with the majority of UK police forces and professional bodies, as well as supporting the publication of case studies and police related events. Hopefully that gives a little bit, bit of background to who you are. But now, what we'd like to do is talk about the subject at hand, which is gathering evidence where are crucial in your line of work. So the key question is to ask how are you ca currently capturing or collecting your data? The next question would be to ask if this is an efficient and error-free way, or could your current methodology and workflow be improved? Let's consider the areas that require some visual recollection or measurements. We understand that photographic evidence is a huge part of what you need to do. Measurements can be taken using a simple tape measure. Notes can be taken with pen and paper, all of which is valid, but it's a manual process, and as such, it can increase the possibility of introducing risk and error. So let us now consider the use of laser scanning technology for forensic mapping. We can use a single sensor to collect data, both from images and dimensions within minutes of arriving at the scene. We can then deliver what you see here on screen to anyone in your organization, or even as a court deliverable with a minimum time of proce processing and effort. This was a mock scene representing a serious assault in a pub. What we are showing here is a video recording of a walkthrough of the scene, including some pop-up images embedded into the dataset. The video also shows we have free movement along the panoramic image captured by our devices topped with the ability to take dimensionally accurate measurements also from this tool because every single pixel we see here has a 3D coordinate assigned to it. Therefore, we can measure from them. We can observe with great clarity the detail of the broken glass, the blood spatters, the knife, and other elements that could be relevant to the scene. And being in a walkthrough, we can take you on a virtual tour to where the victim ended in the bathroom as portrayed by the blood trail. So what measurement solutions are available to us? You can see that all the solutions I highlighted will address forensic mapping requirements, but for the bulk of what you do, in collision or crimes in investigation, the RTC and the BLK360 will address almost laser scanning tasks. 
That said, given the suite of options, it is important to discuss with us what you're trying to achieve so that we can tailor, tailor the solution to meet your needs. So how does it work? This is how. We use what we call a 3D laser scanner. On a tripod, we have a device which sends out a light beam through a rotating mirror, and that takes a distance measurement. If then this mirror rotates along with the instrument, 360 degree, degree representation of a scene gets built, like this. We call the, res the result of this operation point cloud, because it looks like a cloud made out of points. And taking images from the instrument allows us to display this data in real color if you choose to do so. Our systems are fully traceable under ISO 17025. Every procedure we have in place has a digital record for raw data, a digital record for the process along the workflow for quality control of accuracy and fidelity. Because it's simple. Because it provides with non-subjective data. Because when you're capturing everything, nothing is missed. And it's all digital. We get a snapshot in time. Allow me to talk to you just on, what, on these two laser scanning solutions. The Leica BLK360, it's the smallest light imaging laser scanner on the market. Its weight and ease of use makes it very popular for organizations going to scanning for the first time. It is simple to use with a one button press and is controlled by a tablet with our own app for both iPad and Android devices. This will be an entry level laser scanning solution that can be used as a measurement tool and also as a briefing tool. The RTC360 provides additional flexibility and versatility and is widely used with collision investigation. Again, a very simple one-button press operation. However, it provides additional technology that allows the instrument to know where it is and allows automatically linking of scan positions. What this means is a higher degree of accuracy and speed when capturing data, as well as the best possible imagery. Let's consider the workflow for these devices. We already explained that it's a single button press on a tablet or a phone app to capture simultaneously image and point cloud data. The data is then imported into an Office software package to bring the data sets together, which is then exported to what we call Map360, which is a forensic mapping software tool where we can choose and produce all word deliverables, whether it will be a 2D or 3D or animation. One of the deliverables we can also get from our scanners are 360 degrees panoramic images. This process is fully automated within our systems. You only need to ask the software to export a panoramic image from each location where you place the scanner, and that's it. If you want, there's a built-in tool to adjust the exposure and contrast on the HDR device uh, available for, uh, for every image. For a very quick turnaround of results, we also have the capacity directly from the scene, directly from the tablet or phone that you're using to control our devices, to push the panoramic image and the point cloud data to an online sharing platform. This is a very quick and easy way to share information with your senior officers. The data can then be accessed through any mobile device, anywhere there is an internet connect connection, anywhere in the world. We also have a very simple way to deploy this information on an offline platform, if preferred. This is what we call a gesture viewer, and it requires no installation as it runs directly from a USB drive, and it seamlessly offers a virtual walk through your scene, the ability to take measurements, the ability to see the panoramic images, and also any nodes 
audio files or video files which you might have included in your, in your project. You can also record the fly through as a video in real time, which makes the solution extremely efficient. For the production of 2D, 3D and animation deliverables, we use our software called Math360, our scene to screen software suite. This shows an example of how Map360 can be used to quickly draft up a scale to the plan, including a legend key for your evidence markers, which can be done in minutes. As you can see, I've marked up the blood trail from the mock scene shown earlier, as well as the location for the knife, the broken glass, the outline of the building, the location of the bathroom, and an evidence legend key describing each individual element, for which we can then print as you see it on, on a paper. Alternatively, one can also use the point cloud data itself as the visual background for your deliverables. This is where having the capacity to use a point cloud data set at your disposal really comes together in the production of 2D and 3D deliverables, as it tells a much more visually appealing story. Let's now consider witness viewpoints. You may have a witness that stated that they saw the fight from in the pub from across the street from a given position. With access to point cloud data, it is very simple to duplicate the scenario within MAT360 to visually represent the line of sight as described by the witness in their statements. Also, as part of our workflows, we are engaged with other software companies in the industry for which, through collaboration, we can add value together to the forensic community. Working with Inputa software enables MAT360 to seamlessly integrate CCTV imagery and point cloud data. Overlaying these data sets, to be fully scaled, which means we can take measurements directly from the point cloud to determine the position of vehicles. If we then can understand the frame rate, we can calculate the speed of movement. A similar process can be applied to determine suspect heights by intersecting line of sights between the camera position and the overlaid position of the suspect. Also, for your consideration, we've included a tool that's able to derive a co cone from a scan rod on bullet holes to determine directions of shooting. The cones can be customized in length and, can, and we can observe intersections from the cones as well. All of this is possible because we have access to point cloud data. We also included a tool within our software to combine the point cloud data and images from blood spatters together and to get a convergence report from them. Put it simply, we don't need to resort to stringing. There are other tools that can be utilized within Math360, but hopefully this gives you a feel for the possible outcomes from the software. This collaboration journey that we are trying to get to with the forces includes, as part of the process, a training package to accommodate the workflow, including a scanner and whatever the liberal deliverable you want. Each training has a common component of understanding the basics workings with, within the, the hardware and software, and also has a custom component to each individual force. We strip out everything not needed to accomplish your tasks, your standards, not ours, and we try to make it fun and engaging for everyone. In the current times, having the option to go online for training is still not the preferred one. However, we must and we do have online training guides and exercises to assist with this task. We can also provide you with remote online training sessions, wherever there is capacity to do so. In terms of actual training, myself and Nikki Bagesh are looking after the whole back-to-back -back workflow training. We are providing presential training either at your locations 
or in, or in one of our training locations in both Milton Keynes or in Shrewsbury. Obviously, we will do a training assessment and upon completion, issue you uh, a certificate. After sales, there's an amazing tech support team to assist with any questions or concerns that you might have. And so to support this public safety community, we put a lot of emphasis and importance on our team to engage, support, advise and train police units, not only in the use of the equipment, but also the workflow and required deliverables. Hopefully this slide gives you a flavor of the best of the team in the UK. Finally, before handing over to Chris Duffner, some of our clients have provided value feedback on our sessions and support, basically just saying how great we are. We're not perfect, but we endeavor to do our very best by our clients. I would like to thank you for your time. Hopefully this was an enjoyable session and I'll leave here on screen for a few seconds, the contact details for myself and for our public safety manager, Mr. Mark Francis. Thank you.